The government of Orissa is organizing three celebrations today to mark Panchayati Raj Day, which is the birth anniversary of the former Orissa Chief Minister, the late Biju Patnaik, and the completion of 20 years of the Biju Janata Dal government in Orissa. The focus is on the big ticket announcement of empowering rural bodies and flagship schemes like the Mosarkar La, one of its uh, kind feedback mechanisms. We bring you this special report from Bhubaneswar and from Katak. Orisha Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik will complete 20 years in power. And the focus is now on transparency and empowerment of the most backward sections of society with big ticket policy initiatives. Having taken charge of a state lagging behind in every department, Orisha can say it is better off today with 20 years of Naveen Patnaik rule. And now the Orisha government is putting its weight behind two initiatives, Mo Sarkar and the 5 T's. 5 T's stand for five parameters like teamwork, technology, transparency, transformation and time limit. I'm sure all the departments have made adequate preparedness with the appropriate training of officials and proper feedback mechanism. Our constitution starts with we the people. We are obl obligated to fulfill certain responsibilities given to us by the people. Let all of us be very clear about this. A total of 27 departments under the ambit of the Most Sarkar initiative of the Odisha government will solicit feedback from citizens who visit government offices for services by directly calling them. Such an experiment has not been, uh, has, was not done anywhere in the, in the country as far as I know. Uh, when they come, their number is captured, their names and details are captured and then there is a whole uh, lot of IT behind it. There is a portal, a dashboard. The Honorable Chief Minister, Honorable Ministers, the Chief Secretary and all other officers get that dashboard in their own uh, uh, computers and we are expected to call minimum 60 people every week and take feedback. And perhaps what's going to be an even more transformational move and empower rural populations is the decision to empower the Panchayati Raj institutions by transferring assets of four government departments to panchayats Panchayat Samitis and Zilla Parishads. We have not only transferred the, uh, the asset, we are going to transfer the asset to Panchayat Raj institutions. As I mentioned, we have given a lot of money for them to maintain these, run these, build upon these. And so this is truly transformative. But Naveen Patnaik, a man of few words, tells NDTV there's a long way to go. I am grateful to the people of Odisha for having elected us to office for the last 20 years. We have achieved a great deal in these 20 years, but this, there's still a long way to go for Orissa to be totally empowered. From running a boutique in New Delhi to 20 years in Naveen Nivas, his residence as Chief Minister of Orisha, and Naveen Patnaik still remains an enigma. But what makes him so successful as a politician is his focus on upliftment of the poor and underprivileged and an unshakable commitment to the values of service enshrined in the constitution and the teachings of Mahatma Gandhi. In Katak, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV.